All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to my toolbox talk. Today, we'll be talking about crane safety. Before we begin, I just want to say that this meeting is being held in the morning and before any work has taken place. This is to ensure that everybody is aware of the equipment being used on site today and all of the safety precautions that will need to be taken. For our operators, I want to make sure that everybody is properly trained and meets the qualifications to use the equipment. If you have any questions, refer to the operator's manual or contact a manager or safety manager on site. We want to make sure that everything before use is inspected and this includes guards and barriers. For our barriers, we want to make sure that there is at least two feet of clearance for the crane and fixed objects. This is to make sure that nobody gets too close and possibly pinched or caught in the crane. Uh, for our workers on the ground, let's just make sure that we all stay alert and aware of where the crane is at all times and that we're not underneath any materials or moving objects. Our Number one hazard when working with cranes is power lines. So for our operators, we wanna make sure that we check our swing radius and we aren't too close to any power lines. We should be at least 10 to 20 feet away from any power lines. And in the case that we strike any power lines, we will immediately be contacting any utility or power company in the area to shut the power off. If there is an immediate danger, we ask that you keep two feet together, jump and land on both feet at the same time. If there is not an immediate danger, please stay where you are and do not move while we contact the authorities. Our next most common hazard when working with cranes is um, falling debris. So we wanna make sure again that all workers are alert and aware and do not go underneath any moving objects. Uh, we also want to make sure that everything is rigged properly and that we maintain a strict compliance with our load limits. This means not lifting any objects that are too heavy for the crane and checking that the crane is big enough and strong enough for all of our materials. We want to be checking that there is a uh, proper swing radius so that we don't hit any buildings or obstacles in our way. In the case that we're working on the street today, I want there to be some flaggers out on the road to maintain traffic and civilians, making sure that nobody gets too close to our crane and everybody on the ground is safe. Um, for the weather, we also want to make sure that it's not too windy. So we should be checking the uh, weather probably about hourly and making sure that it's not too windy so that the crane loses control or risks tipping. We want to make sure that we maintain uh, stable conditions on the ground, making sure that our crane is properly secured and any surface we're working on is properly padded and our load of the crane is properly spread to avoid cracking or damaging any asphalt or concrete we're working on. The soil we're working on should also be strong enough for the crane so that we don't sink in or lose any stable conditions. Uh, we also wanna make sure that there's proper communication between workers on site. Uh, this means that we should be using hand signals if the noise is too loud and make sure that we are uh, staying away from the crane and just being safe around it. Um, whenever the crane is in operation, every should, everybody should be knowledgeable of the guidelines to follow. Uh, if you have any questions, you should ask the safety manager or project manager on site or anybody in charge. Um, Again, we just want to make sure that everybody's safe and that we inspect all equipment and make sure that nobody is underneath any materials and 
we don't overload the equipment. So if anybody has any questions, um, we'll take questions now. Uh, thank you for listening.